hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to use chalk paint in like a totally easy way so if you want to know more definitely keep watching So in this video we'll be doing three projects and for these projects all I needed were chalk paint, um, varnish, sandpaper, a paint brush and some rags to clean up if there's any spillage or something. Also some card cardboard on the floor will serve really nice even if it's a plastic thing or something to prevent any you know spillages on your tiles or on your carpet so first project that we have is this door I'm gonna paint it just from the inside and this is how it looked before it wasn't bad like at least it wasn't like a red color but it's not how I want it to be so first I'm gonna remove the key how cute is color so cute and then I'm just gonna grab the track and kind of clean it to make sure that there isn't any dust or anything When it comes to using chalk paint, it adheres to almost any surface though, so there's no need for you to send any of the items that you have. Um, but yeah, all I'm doing is just straight in, starting with the paint. And as you can see, I sped up the clip because it would have been super boring. And for the first coat, you just want to apply it wherever, like, not in a messy layer, but not giving too much importance to the details because that will take place in the second coat so as you can see I'm just applying the first coat first and I've noticed that maybe it's because of the hot weather I don't know if you're supposed to do it but I added a little bit of water to the paint because it was a little bit hard to blend and it was also I needed to be very quick um, to work with this paint because it dries really quickly so as you can see this is the first coat I let it dry for about 20 minutes making sure it is fully dry and then I went in with the second coat um, it's really up to you on how opaque you want your items to be I didn't want them to be really bold white because the walls are like a light gray color and I wouldn't want them to blend you know like too much with the wall so as you can see this is the second coat and I'm really happy with how it came out so I'm gonna stop there as you can see there is a little detail to it because I want it to be a little bit on the shabby shape kind of side with a little bit more texture to it rather than one bold kind of color so yeah I'm really happy with how it came out and by the way you guys for these three projects I only spent 28 euros and I have like much much more paint left so it's total bargain And now it's time to sand it down a little bit just because the chalk paint leaves kind of a, like a rough texture to touch so I sand it down just a little bit and I also emphasized on the sides of the wall to bring like the features of the sides a little bit back to life. I was really pleased with the whole thing just because this whole process doesn't require lots of time and doesn't require you to dirt your whole house. So now passing on to the varnish, I'm just going to apply a thin layer, I'm covering all the paint to make sure that there's a smooth surface and that the paint underneath is well protected from scratches, wear and tear and all that good stuff. So as you can see, that's all I'm doing right now. It's quite easy and really, really mainstream. So this is how it will end up like straight after you apply the varnish and this is after a couple of hours it's all done and I'm really really pleased the lock needs to be changed so that's why I didn't like really bother do not mess it and stuff because I'm gonna change it anyway and yeah so this is how the door is looking like I think it flows much better with the rest of the house Now for the second project we have an upcycled piece. I have had this storage trunk for years and it's still in very good condition. It's made of like a wicker material and although the color doesn't bother me as much I really wanted to paint it like a whitish color. So as you can see Skyler is my little helper and I'm just painting it. I did two coats of this as well 
but not bold because I didn't want to cover like totally cover the color underneath because I wanted it to look a little bit worn out like a shabby kind of look also like a rustic limb and I'm obsessed with this I didn't want to part from this because it fits so much stuff and I, I think that with these cushions and this faux fur rug it looks really great and it's really complemented my bedroom like so much and it fits so much stuff you guys you have no idea it's really deep and I'm really happy with it if you have something you like like a piece of furniture you really like but you have just redecorated the house or you have just moved into a new house and you feel that that piece doesn't kind of fit with the rest of the decor try it out make sure to um, try it out before you part from it because you'll be you'll be surprised on how good some items will look after you give them a makeover so the third project is this bunk bed it's the metal bunk bed from ikea i got it for my son it's made of really sturdy wood and that was the before and this is the after i didn't record much of it because it was super hot and last thing i wanted to do is vlog in this heat while it's working so this is how it came up looking like skylar is obsessed with it and i am too i think his bedroom looks so cute so yeah that's everything for this video guys make sure to subscribe for more and i will see you all in my next one bye